We haven't had a baby bird in for a while, but wow, did we get a nice one in here. Check this out, 1956 Ford Thunderbird. Now this particular car does have the hard roof as well as the soft top. And you can check out the still pictures on it. So I'll give you that in a little bit. So you can see the tops up, um, tops down, interior, engine bay, all of that. We'll get to that in a little bit. Anyway, powered by a 312 V8 automatic underneath the hood. Does have power steering also. This car happens to have power windows. It also has an automatic transmission. Color, peacock blue. Was originally a peacock blue and colonial white car. Hard top is white on this one. It also has the matching two-tone interior. So you'd have colonial white and peacock blue interior that matches it. Also in very nice shape. This particular car had a frame-off restoration. Uh, at that time, the odometer was turned back to zero. So when we get around there, I'll show you how many miles this has had on it since it's built. Uh, has had some uh, recent service work. I'm gonna get to that too. First of all, I'll just figure I'll give you a walk around on this, give you an idea what this car looks like. Now, those still pictures. Go to our website, uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video, there's a link. Click on it, it's gonna take you right there. Uh, you can check out the undersides, engine bay, trunk. Uh, very, very nice car. The only thing I kinda really noticed going around it was there was a few little tiny nicks up here in the hood. That's really the only spot, and it's so minor stuff to get them to show up in the in the screen there, in the shot. There you go, you can kind of see them. And I have those uh, pointed out in the pictures too. Fender skirts, wide whites. Just a great look. Beautiful car in this color too. We haven't had one in this color before. A lot of others, but not this one. Now, we do offer financing. We consider trades, we can assist you with getting this car to where you're located at, and it may be eligible for an extended warranty, so ask your sales associate if you call in or email in about that if you'd like to know more. As you can see, side exiting exhaust out of the rear bumper back here, and in all very, very nice shape. And of course the Continental kit on it back here, but check that out, how cool is that? Uh, one other thing you're going to notice in the pictures, there is a protective plastic coating that they have to go right around this area when the hard top or the soft top is put on there and put down. So I have pictures with that on, I have pictures with it off. And again, those still pictures, check them out at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video, there's a link. Click on it, it's going to take you right there. Phone number 507-386-1726. All right, I want to go through a little bit of what was done on this and kind of go through some notes from the owners here before we started up. Uh, restored in 2003, that's when the odometer was put to zero. Um, and I believe it's at about 7,000 right now, a little over. What do we got there? 7,029 miles. So since this frame off restoration, 7,000 miles, a little over. Clock works, radio works, wipers work. Again, you can see power windows in this car. Switches, windows down, power windows work. Uh, and let's go through some of the work that's been done in this. In 2016, replaced the condenser, points, rebuilt the carb, new plugs and wires. So a little bit of an overhaul in 2016. Um, they also had a bent push rod. Very well known, uh, very reputable service shop here oh, about an hour away we're familiar with them a lot of work gets done in the older cars that come to us buy them i uh, replaced a bent push rod and adjusted the valves fixed a coolant leak um, by replacing heater valve with uh, pipe fitting all that was taken care of this car is turnkey ready to roll uh, 2017 a power uh, brake vacuum booster was sent out to be rebuilt uh, 2017 also put on a new master cylinder um, so there you have it I mean, it's, it's had its service work done. It's had a frame off restoration. Let's go ahead and fire this up. We're gonna pop the hood. We're gonna check out the engine bay. Let's see how this thing runs. See how easily it starts. 
tachometer works, fuel gauge came up, uh, temperature is probably going to go down to cold, I would guess if it's, it has not been running, so yeah, it's going to go down to cold, but it looks like that gauge will also work as it warms up, here's your clock, clock is running, and again, radio work, a little aftermarket Thunderbird radio, a little later model version, a little better reception, speaker up here, all that does work. Horn works too. As well as wipers, bar windows, come around to the back. A little bit of a rumble out of that three tall. Nothing crazy, but what you'd expect out of a nice stock looking 56 Thunderbird. All right, I'm gonna pause this one second and let's get that hood open so you check that out too. All right, wow, look at this. What you'd expect from looking at the rest of this car. How nice and tidy this is underneath here. They just don't get any nicer. Very smooth, nice running 312. Nice power options there. It says 12 volt, I can't remember. I think it was 15. I don't remember if they had 12 volts or 6 volts on these. This particular one is 12 volt, but I think they'd already switched to 56 in the T Birds. Wow. How smooth and how nice is that running? Again, very nicely taken care of, restored and serviced 56 T-Bird. So there you have it. Once again, we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can assist you with getting this card where you're located at. You may be eligible for an extended warranty. Ask your sales associate when you call us at 507-386-1726 or you check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video, there's a link. Click on it, it's gonna take you there. Yes, this car does have the soft and hard top both in the pictures check it out look forward to hearing from you on this one absolutely beautiful 56 baby bird give us a call